that. So I got one of these balance masters for the front of the crankshaft on my 6MZ cat, and uh, they make drive shaft balancers. So I figured I'd try them out, and I don't remember what they were, $100 a piece or something. It's got this little clamp that clamps this little rubber rubber hose filled with mercury or something in it. Clamps it to the drive shaft. See all that, but doesn't look too complicated. I'm gonna try it and see what it does. Alright, so I got it stretched on there, and uh, I think maybe it's probably best to do this without the U-joint in it, but I don't uh, really feel like taking the U-joint out, and it did stretch over it, but I had to, uh, it not to stretch it where the seam's at, so I had to baby it, try and be real careful, but uh, get this little bracket on there and then see what it looks like when I get done with it. Yeah, so there it is. I got it on there. And, uh, didn't say how tight to put it. This was for two different sizes. I don't remember what the sizes were. But it got pretty tight when the, the screw just got flush with the end of that nut there. So I'm just going to leave it like that. But, uh, so far it ain't been too bad. But, alright, so I got it back in there. Put it back together. Um, pretty well I just put it like three and three eighths inch from that weld see it. anyway got it on there um, where I used my U-joint and U-joint straps if you're worried about your caps turning or whatever when you put it back together, just take you a couple slices of vintage Pepsi can and stick them in here and uh, pinch them in there and it shouldn't turn after that. But I'm going to go do the one at the transmission, but hopefully this, this works. i got to shake somewhere. I don't really know where, but uh, I'm hoping this will get rid of it. 